So, what a performance today, 1-0 against second place Moneyfields, you've got to feel right. Yeah, it's decent, you know, the boys uh, dug in well, you know, even when we'd scored, we still had a good 15, 20 minutes to go, you know, <clears throat> so to uh, defend for that long, you know, we were put on some pressure, you know, decent, decent result against a team like that. A few weeks back, we got uh, peppered by them 5-1, so good to take something off them. Your goal, only goal of the game. And then you pull out the worm. <laughs> what was your feeling behind that? Oh, I don't know, mate. I've got a few dodgy little uh, celebrations in the uh, bank. And it's just come... I don't know, really. it just come out. <laughs> Should have gone for the flip. Uh, but main <coughs> talking point is your goal. Uh, were you pleased to put that one away? Yeah, I, I was saying to the lads at half-time and, you know, we had a few good chances uh, first half. Unfortunately, nothing fell to myself. Um... And, you know, I just kept saying to look, just feed me. I need one chance. Get me a chance, you know, and I'll show you what I can do. Um, and not through cockiness, just through my ability and finding that it's something that I can do. And uh, finally, little uh, Ryan come on the pitch and two minutes, I think he was on, put me straight through and I proved what I said I was going to do. I just needed that chance and got it, took it well. And uh, we took one game, one nil, three points, what we needed. Also in the second half, you, you pulled out a bicycle kick on the halfway oh. line. <laughs> Uh, what was your thought behind that? <laughs> Do you know what? There wasn't really any thought. It was just one of those moments that we needed to get rid. <clears throat> and that was the first thing that came to mind. And I just lofted it up the pitch, really. Saturday, you've got Barnstable away, bottom of the table. <clears throat> can you do what you did? No, can you ret- turn around what you did against them earlier in the season, losing 4-0? Yeah, definitely. You know, the boys, we're, on, we're in good form now. Um, and you can see that, the confidence there. Even, you know, the one nils, the nil nils, <clears throat> we've taken some good points off the uh, top of the leagues now. So the belief is there with the lads, you know, training well e- each week. Um, so I think we're going down there with a lot more confidence than what we did have earlier on in the season when they come here. Four nil, if you watch the game, everyone knows it was just, they took their four chances and that was it. It was never a pepper and we, it sounded like it from the result, but I reckon when we get down there next Saturday, we'll turn that one on them. And then Wednesday, you've got Clevedon Town in the Somerset Cup quarter final. You played Radstock Town in the last game, uh, finished 2 1. Radstock scored a cracker of a goal. Yep. How, what thought process are you going to have going into this game? I mean, to be honest, we'll see Saturday out first. We'll see how Saturday goes. Um, that's our main object. Just keep the points coming in on, in the league, and then we'll take every game that comes and for the Cups. Like I said, we'll see how it is then. Can you do what they did last year as a new signing in the summer and get to the final? I'd like to hope so. You know, any any cups the cup, you know, we need to take some you know, and uh, if the boys keep believing and keep playing like they've been playing, there's no reason why we can't uh, go all the way and get to the final and uh, go on and win it, maybe. Congratulations on your man and match. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. All right, mate. What's the time now? Can't be...